Hey guys, I'm Chloe from Chloe's American Girl Doll channel, and I'll be making a really fun box of chocolate for my dolls for a Valentine's Day gift. Let's get started. Here's everything you need. This air-dried clay, styrofoam, toothpicks, pearlized paint, red, pink, and white, one-fourth of a teaspoon, three little jars, two paintbrushes, three craft paints, white for white chocolate, brown for milk chocolate, and a dark brown for dark chocolate, scissors, this little heart box, a bunch of stickers, some sticky dots, this really fun glittery tissue paper, a bottle cap, and a pencil. This craft might get a little messy, so make sure you cover your surface with something that you're fine getting dirty. And I'm going to roll my sleeves up since we're going to be painting. First, you're going to take a little bit of the clay, and then you use the one fourth of a teaspoon just to make sure you get a good size, and then add the clay in the teaspoon until you get it full. Now that's added, you can take it out. It can be any shape you want. You can make it into a different shape, or you can just keep it in this little half circle. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and put it in the clay and stick it in the styrofoam. And then you're going to do that again, but you can make different shapes. This time I'm going to make it into a square. And then you take the toothpick, put it in, put it in the styrofoam. Did you know white and milk chocolate are made of the same ingredients, except white doesn't have the cocoa? Make sure you let the chocolates dry according to the package. Now that they're dry, it's time to paint. So I have these three different craft paints. Pour a little bit of paint into each container. I'm going to have white chocolate for this circle. The toothpick is really helpful because it keeps the chocolate in place and you don't get paint everywhere. Now that they're all painted, I'm going to wait for it to dry. Luckily, I already have another set that's already dried. So now that we have the dried ones, we can just add some little decorations to the top. You don't need to use pearlized paint for all of them. I'm going to use a sticker for this one. These look great. I'm going to set these aside and start making the box. So you can use any type of shape you want. So I'm going to use this heart box and I'm going to decorate it. So you can use stickers or paint. I'm going to do like a heart on top. I'm going to set this aside while I make our candy wrappers. So you just need tissue paper and you can use any color, a little like bottle cap and a pencil. I am going to use this folded so I can get more circles out of it. You can cut as many as you need. If you have more chocolates, then you can cut more. Now that my chocolates are dry, I'm going to get them out and the sticky dots take a little circle and then the chocolate that you want. So I'm using this chocolate and then I'm taking it off the toothpick then I'm gonna get the sticky dot, and then we're gonna put it on the circle and put it in the middle of the paper. And then I'm gonna kind of put it around the circle, and I put that aside and do another one. Once you have a few of your chocolates done, you can start putting the chocolates in the box that you decorated. And then you just take one of the sticky dots, the chocolate that you want, and then just sticks really well. Keep adding the chocolates until the box fills up. Luckily, I already have a box made. I love this mini box of chocolate. It's a perfect Valentine's gift for your dolls. Come back next week for another DIY. Happy Valentine's Day, bye!